Hello, I'm Councillor Sue Blatchford and I'm the Mayor of Southampton. I would like to tell you about some of the special things you can actually see in the Civic Centre if you come beyond the front door. I think one of the things, first of all, is to actually go up to the first floor on the steps and I can then explain some of the different things. If you go up the stairs in the Civic Centre and reach the first floor and look up, there is an absolutely amazing ceiling with different shapes, octagons, triangles, rectangles and squares. On the first floor, along the landing, there are images of some of the key people in the history of the town at the time, including Sir Sidney Kimber. This portrait of Lucia Foster Welsh was co-opted onto the Education Committee of the Council in 1911. She became a woman of many firsts. She was the first woman to be elected to the Council in October 1918, becoming the first woman junior bailiff in 1924 and senior bailiff in 1925, the first woman sheriff in 1926, and importantly, in 1927, she became the 704th and first woman mayor, the first woman admiral of the port, a post held at the same time as being the mayor. Foster Welsh was also the first woman to hold the post of alderman in 1928. Earlier in 1920, she was the first female JP in Southampton. Her mother was a friend of Elizabeth Fry, so perhaps why, as a JP, she became the first woman to visit Winchester Prison. Her husband was a GP and she was involved in maternity and children's health and welfare, setting up the school's health clinic and maternity unit. The doors lead to the Mayor's reception room, but more importantly is the stone carving above the door, which is reputedly said to be carved from one block of stone. The images include Britannia resting her head on the globe of the world. To the left of her head, there's a schooner in full sail. And on the right, there is a cruise ship with smoke billowing from the funnels. On the shelf, there sits two fish, described as two dolphins. We've now actually got to the council chamber, this clock above the door. But again, above the door is yet another stone carving. This is the wise man resting his head on the Book of Wisdom with the Sword of Justice running behind. On the right hand side there's an image of this building, the Civic Centre, and on the left hand side there's cranes and warehouses representing the docks, the port and the city, and the castle. On the shelf on the left hand side there's the fruit which would have come through the port and described as a cornucopia of plenty of all those good things which came through our port. On the right hand side there's a crown, there's bags of money and a pile of banknotes representing the prosperity of the town, the city and also perhaps with the Crown collecting taxes. The alternative description of the stone carving is that the man is actually Sir Beavis of Hampton and he's looking across the landing at his wife Josian on the other side. So in fact not wearing a helmet, she's wearing a crown because she's a princess of Armenia. Sir Beavis and Josian uh, were involved in a very complex story, but it also features somebody called Askupar the Giant. Behind the head of the wise man, or Sir Beavis, you can actually see a sword, and the sword was named Morglay and was given to Beavis when he was actually knighted by the king of Armenia. 
and his horse was actually called Arundel and people will actually know Arundel Towers as one of the towers on the old city walls. Beavis also forms part of an area of Southampton and there's also a Josian Walk. The giant Ascupar is also featured in some of the road names within the town so quite a historical link with this very old story from the 1300s. We'll open the door to the council chamber and have a look inside. It too is different. We'll go into the well of all the seats. The furniture in here is all original, dates from the 1930s and it's walnut. But the key thing is the pillars around the council chamber, they also have the fish which were in the stone carving and retaining that link with the sea, there's starfish and shells as well. Above the arched windows in the council chamber are the points of the compass etched in blue, north and south and sadly west and east is hidden behind the curtain rails. But it's that very clear link with our maritime heritage can't go to sea unless you know which way the wind is blowing. This is the mayor's chair and as you can see a very grand carved chair with the coat of arms of the city, the, the galleons, a beautiful carving, the very top there's another um, shell and again on the back of the leather seat the coat of arms of the city. As the mayor I'm a bit biased, but I hope that next time you visit the Civic Centre, you'll venture upstairs and take in some of our hidden history and heritage.